Customer stayed steering wheel back off center. Now to the right. Just to let y'all know, Pimps mess up too. It, it's my fault. I see exactly what I did wrong. Boom. I'm just here for an oil change. Don't try to sell me anything else. Don't try to tell me that it needs major repair. It drives perfectly fine. It doesn't need anything else. I know what I have. It wasn't like that when I brought it here. <laughs> what do you mean they're worn out? Customer says it's got a water leak. You. You. She's full of water. In the driveway, a customer states, I think I need a gearbox. My suspension is fine. This is not fine. That is the idler arm, the pitman arm, the inner tie rods, the outer tire. It's the whole fucking front linkage. And it's bad enough to shake the tie rod on the other end, too. And that's the funniest part. Because when I got this truck from my buddy, he said, Oh, I checked the front suspension. It's perfectly tight. That gearbox is real bad. So that's why there's 15 degrees of play. Yeah, sure, a gearbox can do that. 100%. It's less likely. But I don't know about you. Those, those, don't, look, those don't look tight at all. Customer states, here's a sound in the dash. Seems like the speedometer cable might be loose. In his 2015 F-150. Yep, that would be a digital speedometer. Now, obviously, it's not a cable. They don't make those anymore. But... At least I do have an accurate description if you know what a loose speedometer cable sounds like in an older car. I'm guessing this guy's uh, probably what a lot of you refer to as a boomer and he knows what a speedometer cable sounds like. A lot of you don't even know you had a fucking... So this customer comes in today uh, with issues on the charging system. Says the alternator is only putting out between 10 and 11 volts, which... That's not enough. Um, under hood kind of smells like you burn a dead body. It smells awful. The car was making a hell of a racket. And we can only imagine as to why. There's supposed to be a bearing right there. I'm trying to do the best I can do here with uh, one hand. But as you can see, that is not supposed to move. It ain't supposed to make that noise either. So, got to go take it and have it rebuilt because it is converted to a one-wire alternator. So that'll be sitting here all weekend, blocking my shop. All right. No power. Got noises. <laughs> like I said, that battery is brand new. Like I should be good. Holy Woo! Oh! Are you kidding me? Look, I'm telling you, bro. Are you kidding Fuck me you right now? I'm telling you, bro. Telling you, are you Welcome to another episode of Customer States. This is going to be part two. 
Today we're looking at a 2006 Chevy Silverado with a 5.3 liter. Vehicle inspection, job notes, customer states, the steering is funny, check engine light is on. So let's go take a look. So now we'll go ahead and fire it up. And looks like we got a check engine light on. And he also states the steering is funny, so let's see what this is about. Customer states, truck won't start. So, check the starter cable. Hmm, that could be a problem. So let's dip down here and hook it up. Hmm, that could be a bigger problem. Customer brought in their 98 F-150 today. Uh, claims their back brakes lock completely up and slide whenever you press the brakes. So we're going to go take it apart and see what it needs. Well, we've got the side taken apart that is locking up. Nothing really out of the ordinary here that I can tell other than the pads are really old, or the shoes that is. Um, there's some cracking. Drum's not overly grooved. They're not adjusted out too far. I don't know. We're going to see what the other side looks like. All right, we've got the other side off. I had to persuade this side a little bit. Uh, and it's really, really hard to tell, but the pads or shoes are worn unevenly. One end is thicker than the other. Something is definitely... She said ten, I think. Six people here at one time. Only three right now. Customer states. Blower motor inoperative. Uh yeah, that'll be a big negative, Timmy. That'll be a big negative on this one. Customer states noise when turning left, like whistling. Customer stated he felt a knock on the highway and his car doesn't turn on anymore. Customer states, just switch my summer tires for my studded winter tires. Don't do anything else. You know, don't do anything else. You crooked mechanics, you. Presented to you by that customer that has a guy.